In this problem, we're going to multiply these polynomials. We have a trinomial times a trinomial. It's called a trinomial because uh, they each have three terms. Okay, we're basically going to take this x squared here and then just multiply it by each of these, then do the same thing with negative x and then with 4. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So x squared times 2x squared is going to give us 2x, and then we're going to multiply the x's, so we'll add the exponents, so x to the 4. Then x squared times negative 3x, that's going to give us minus 3x cubed, right? You add the exponents. And then x squared times minus 1 is minus x squared. So that takes care of the x squared. We just take the x squared and multiply it by each of these. Okay, now let's do the same thing with negative x. Negative x times 2x squared, well, we add the exponents, so minus 2x cubed. Negative x times negative 3x, well, negative and negative is positive, so this is plus 3x squared. And then last, negative x times negative 1 is going to give us a positive x. Almost there. Now we're going to go to 4. 4, whoops, 4 times 2x squared is going to give us 8x squared. 4 times negative 3x will give us minus 12x. And 4 times negative 1 will give us minus 4. Okay, so what do we have? Let's see. Let's clean this up. So we have 2x to the 4th. Takes care of that. What about x cubed terms? We have this one here and this one here. That's going to give us uh, minus 5x cubed. So minus 5x cubed. What about x squared terms? Let's see. We have this one, this one, and this one. So 11x squared minus x squared is 10x squared. I'm going to cross them out so I don't get mixed up. And we also took care of this one. So I'm just going to like put lines through them so that we know we're not using stuff again. right? So cross it out as you go through it. Uh, x minus 12x is minus 11x. You can think of it as 1x, so 1 minus 12 is minus 11. And then uh, we're just left with a minus 4, and that would be the very final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.